part of the, the team at the moment. Solid. Strong start from Dimitrov. So he had to play with some caution. Gosh, I need to add Daniel Medvedev and Andre uh, Rublev into that Daniel. conversation. 18 to 21 or 22 category right now. started off with the quality second serve you can see he's trying to recover got wrong footed there he stays in the point and Dimitrov off of both wings can hurt Dimena first break point yes. first break point save Slice better than coming over it. Yes, yeah, stands at six foot tall. Does uh, Alex Demina a reflection of how Alex he, he understands his game and of course when you have Leighton Hewitt around that you you can bounce. 15. You, you've got him, uh, you know, there to, to guide you. So he, he understands that he's got to be able to build his game up so that he can hit shots like this. Game Dimitro. Serve plus one. On serve. I want to go over to court number 17. And I, I've got to get over to Armstrong to watch uh, so-and-so play. Yeah, this is something Nishikori went with as well, throwing in some drop shots, and I, I would say he lost maybe trophies looking for a forehand. There it is again. Pretty strong response from down love 30 for Grigor Dimitrov. It's back to 30 all at 3 all. Dimitrov does that. One, two. Advantage, Dimitro. In what way? Just an intent. He's a, kind of aware of the strengths of Alex de Mina.
because these men deserve it because we are here in the commentary <laughs> booth. That is the point. That's the point of the match so far, and it's not even close. the opponents to come up with the answers. Oh, oh no! I thought the volley was going to be too good by the Australian. Talking about how fast Alex is. I'm not too slow myself. How about this closing speed by the Bulgarian? And the stretch as well. The anticipation by Dimitrov, and then the stretch, the slide. First set on grandstand to Grigor Dimitrov. Seven games to five over Alex Dimitrov. To this point, having what 40 love point. Instead, Grigor decides to have a crack at a backhand. Hasn't been a dip by Dimitrov. Not a noticeable dip in form. I would say that was one of the bigger questions coming into this match. Maintain a high level of play. And he's still going. Yeah. up to this ball is to be able to be balanced and not touch any part of the net. Oh wow, there's big forehand from Divinar. 
Yeah, that's about as good as days you can have on one of the, the worst days you could have. Might as well spend it with Gabriela Sabatini. Yeah, that's a powerful forehand. And his court position. Is that I mean really the quality of Dimitrov is strong today and if he can keep passing you <laughs> to say that Dimina perhaps retreating too much here. from a spot in the U.S. Open quarterfinals. Bring out all the storylines for you here. <laughs> I guess... Sorry, I thought that was going in the net. I thought the point was going to end. I, I guess I'm bottom lining it here. player like Alex Diminar. Isn't there a tendency or could there be a tendency and it's not just Alex to always think there's something you can do to change things around. Diminar finishes with an ace. And obviously they're all distressed as what's been going on with his game. Electricity and Dimitrov moving forward, playing the volley. And that all comes from after he's moved from the baseline quickly to net. That's uh, a big return. You can hear Grigor say good shot. 30 to D. needed to come up with an amazing Del Potro-esque running cross-court forehand. First break point saved of the match for Alex yes. Diminar. The answer is yes. 
Dimitrov. but that time Dimitrov knifed the backhand return that dipped below the net. Grigor Dimitrov has been turning back the clock to... just catching a small margin of the line as well as what he has served today well he's gonna have to serve it out if he's gonna do it right here Alex Stevenar holds Grigor Dimitrov will serve for a spot in the quarterfinals and he has been doing everything is still going to test his constitution. Mm -hmm.